true flexible seating, you're supposed to let them choose like everything every day, but I kind of made a schedule for it so that there was less arguing and now it works out fine. They get to pick where they want to sit at the beginning of the day and they have some scoop chairs and there's lots of different options that I have so they all can find something that suits them. I believe it does help them in their learning environment because if it's a bell to sell, when the bell rings and they go to the next classroom, it's lined up like a cell. And so the kids actually get bored sitting in those classrooms. They actually, we want to do a flexible seating where the kids feel more comfortable, more able to move around, be able to work with each other in groups like they're going to in real life. It's easier for them to sit down and do their work versus um, up and walking around the room because they can move in their chair. I know some of my kids, instead of like sitting on the balls, will like lay on them on their stomachs or something. And it looks crazy when you walk in, but if I were to ask them a question at any time, they would be able to answer and know where we are. At the beginning of the year, my kids did argue with the flexible seating. The children do not fight over the chairs. My sophomores know exactly where they're supposed to sit within the chairs and they have to switch out at that table. They sit in those tables for two weeks. They know exactly where they are because I have stickies posted on my whiteboard. And then my upperclassmen are get to choose where they sit at any of the um, flexible seating arrangements. Their favorite chairs are probably the bouncy balls, there's exercise yoga balls, and the wheelie chairs like the ones all the teachers use to sit in. Well, right now it is the scoop chairs right here that I have. They really like these and these were our first ones that I have started with and they like to sit and read. I think the students actually get very excited about being able to come in here and do it. Eventually what I like to do is actually have some tables purchased that actually have the uh, whiteboard on top so they can actually work at the tables, be able to erase on those. I would like to add the wobble cushions, which are, they just are aired up and they sit on the floor. Or they can put them in a, in a student seat. And so now they are very used to it. They would not want to go back to the traditional seating.